All right, on my back is the GORUCK GR2 Heritage 34 liter in slate. I've really waited a long time for the 34 liter size and they added a new color slate, so it's super, super cool. Big thanks to Huckberry for sending me this one and letting me abuse it. I don't think they knew what I was planning when they sent it to me. And what did I do? I did things that you don't wanna to do to something you spend this kind of money on. I did it so you don't have to. What did I do? I left it out in the rain for several hours. I drug it behind my truck. No, I didn't drag it behind my truck. But I did do everything that you would want to do. I threw it in the back of my truck and drove halfway across the country and back, fully packed out, just to see how this bag would do. And to be honest, it's showing the wear and the wax canvas very, very nicely. It's showing that patina, things that you'd want it to do. And so, yeah, so it's awesome. So this video really is gonna show you everything that's happened to this bag. And I'm going to show you what it looks like after that. And there's been no issues, no need to return it to scars. It's doing awesome. So let's show you what it looks like after my abuse. All right, today we are outside with the GR2 Heritage. This one's in slate. Big thanks to Huckberry for sending me this one. And, you know, the purpose of this video is to show you what this looks like after a ton of abuse. Now, you know, you buy and you spend the money that you need to on a Heritage to get all the fantastic features, which at the end, I'll give you a quick rundown of how all that looks. But what I really wanted to do today was to show you what it looks like after you beat it up. Because when you spend that kind of money on this thing, you really don't necessarily want to do what I did, which was kick it around a parking lot, around blacktop, very coarse material, leave it out in the rain for several hours just to see how it does. And I did that, we'll talk more about that. And just literally put it in the back of your truck, drive around the country for a little bit to see how it works out. So anyway, I did all those things with this Heritage GR2 Heritage, which is awesome. Heritage, GR2 Heritage, that's a little redundant. But anyway, this is what it looks like after all that abuse. We'll get you some close up photos to post here and there, but really, and again, you know, the beautiful thing about wax canvas, whether it's a wax canvas trucker jacket, is the fact that over time, it's gonna show a little bit of patina. It's just gonna show some wear that makes it more look lived in, perfect in my opinion. Now this is, again, slate. So it's a little bit a light color. It's not terribly dark. It's gonna show the dirt a little more than some of the darker colors, the brushed brown, the dark oak, which the dark oak really is my favorite color. But this is slate, so you can see it does show a little bit of the dirt on it, but it's really showing some of the patina that I wanted to pretty nicely. Both the, like basically, cause I dragged in on the pavement, it's showing the nice little stripes there in the wax canvas, the sides just showing a little bit more dirt than anything else, uh, both sides and on the back showing, you know, I did scrape it, kick it around, roll it across, did all sorts of stuff with this, but you know, the straps are showing a little bit of wear because that's just where it had contact. The leather, now the leather is what I was really most concerned about when it comes, to durability of this bag and you know it's gonna wear and show more than i think the wax canvas and honestly the wax canvas you can retreat over time but really you know and of course i was holding on to the handle so it didn't show a lot of wear but the bottom is really where it tells most of the story and the fact that you can see the scrape marks it's the you know it's still very brown and not really worn because i didn't do a long-term test more about that in maybe a couple months as we continue to use this 34 liter size but it's just, you know, showing the scrapes a little more than the rest of the bag, I'd say. So, but it just gives the whole bag character. And it is totally packed out. What's it got inside? A bunch of packing cubes, all stuffed with clothing and a 13 pound kettlebell just to give it a little heft as I threw it around because, you know, it's gonna weigh 20, 30 pounds with stuff in it when it's fully loaded. But anyway, so that just gave it a little bit of weight. It's still, you know, none of it in the short duration is really showing any wear. That's the wear test. But of course the see you out there patch is holding up quite nicely. A couple other tests I did. That was the wear test. And again, it's showing up and uh, holding up really awesome. It's gonna show wear in the wax canvas, but it is awesome. Now, the other part of this is I did a soak test. So I left it out 
in the rain for about four hours and I had stuff in there and I put a piece of cardboard in the top pocket and another piece of cardboard, bigger cardboard in the back because I didn't want to risk AirPods, cell phones, laptops, iPads out of the rain. So I did put cardboard in there and then when immediately when I brought it in and, and shook it out, I took out the cardboard to see if any of the corners were a little wet. Nothing was wet. Everything was completely sealed. And again, it was at an angle like this on the chair. So this rain flap definitely protected it from the rain. The fact that this back panel bomb proof laptop compartment is in the back definitely kept things nice and dry and there was no issue whatsoever with water intrusion in either of two pockets. Now the rest of the bag had sweatshirts in it all over the place. So when I took them out, I kind of looked to see what was happening. Now the main compartment stuff was completely dry. No issues at all. Everything was completely dry. The middle layer, and it was just on the very top, um, there was a little bit of wetness uh, in there. I would say they were damp. Nothing was soaked. There was no like water puddling on the inside of this thing. So again, you just it's how those rain flaps are aligned to see if it's gonna be completely dry long-term, but it did a nice job of keeping things dry. It wasn't 100%, but you wouldn't expect that. This is weather resistant. It's not weatherproof. It's definitely gonna survive as you're going in and out of different buildings, going to the train, going to the airport, all that kind of stuff. With a little bit of rain, you're not gonna need to get a cover for this. And plus, you know, it's, just gonna, it's gonna wear and just show more awesomeness as it wears in. So that was that. I also hooked this up to the back of my truck and drug it around for a few miles to see if the bottom was gonna wear out. No, I didn't do that. Uh, I would not ever treat something like this to that sort of abuse because it is going to wear out. The coefficient of friction between this weighted bag and the road is significant enough to wear a hole through the bottom of it. Now, if you did do that, you could return it to scars and they would repair it. So that's super cool. One thing that I highlight occasionally, haven't highlighted in a while, is scars. It's going to cost you to send it to them, but they're going to send it to you back and they're going to repair anything that is damaged on any of your GORUCK stuff. So that is super cool. And I've done that with two or three bags where a zipper busted or a seam busted or something got goofed up and they took it back, fixed it and returned it. No questions asked. They usually want a cool story. Like how did it happen? Well, I hooked it up to the back of my truck and I wore it out. That probably wouldn't cut it. But in this case, um, <laughs> I did not do that test. So yeah, holding up quite nicely. Let's take a look just to give you an overview of what's inside a GR2 Heritage just in case you hadn't seen it in a while. And I've done previous videos on the 34 and the 40 liter, and really what it, my determination is, I really don't gain a ton of capacity with that 40 liter, so 34 liter GR2s are my sweet spot for multi-day travel, and if I have to exceed the internal capacity at 34 liters, I go with a GORUCK kit bag. And now that they have heritage kit bags, man, I'm just totally set. I can just do kit bag, kit bag, kit bag. Kit bag. What is the benefit of the heritage there's one. First of all, they look awesome and they have different colors. They're all super cool. But the fact that they've all the heritage have this top pocket is literally my favorite thing about all these bags. The fact they're putting them in some of the collaboration bags is even better. I hope we see this in regular bags um, at some point. But this top pocket is my favorite feature. Sunglasses, AirPods, wallet, phone, keys, you name it, it's gonna go in this top pocket. It's sizable, it's definitely awesome. Heritages have the leather accents, not gonna get into too much about that, but the 34 liter size. How do I live in and out of that? The main compartment is gonna be all of my big packing cubes, shoes, big bulky items, things I don't expect to ever get into until I'm at my destinations. But in this middle or this front layer is where I'm gonna live out of. There is one front slash pocket, which is where my iPad or my tablet of choice lives, something I'm gonna get out using the airport or in the car or something like that. All that quick access stuff, maybe a snack or something that's flat, obviously. There's no dimension to this bag, so you're really gonna live with something flat in this front part. Inside this front area is you know, some of the awesomeness that is the heritage and its contrasting colors, the wax canvas all throughout. And again, the GR2s all have this layered pocket on the inside, which is big enough for a dop kit, big enough for a camera cube. It's got organization on the inside. It's the waxed canvas. It's awesome. I love it. There is a mesh zip here and there's mesh zips here and another pocket on the top with a very nice leather GR2 heritage patch, which is super cool. Now, both of these, these mesh pockets are zippered to the side. 
That is total EDC, that's total access on the go layout because you don't have to totally get into that front flap to get what you want. All you have to do is unzip it a little bit, get into that pocket, whether it's on the front or in the main compartment. Awesome, just love side access of the pockets on the GR2s. The GR1s don't do that, they're top access because they want you to open that whole flap because you're gonna get into it. But that is not how the GR2s are laid out. They have side access zippers, big fan of that. All right, so into the main event, the main compartment. Boop. And the back panel, what does it have on it? This has top and side mesh. So more and more pockets. Some of the special edition bags, the Carryology collaboration bags, eliminate these pockets on the main compartment, which is not something I'm a fan of. Or in their defense, I don't typically use these pockets a ton. So that's cool, but I like having the option. So I like these to be in there. Inside the main compartment, totally big and sizable. The main compartment, if you're familiar with the GR1, is very similar. This has got, is big enough for tons and tons of shadow pockets. A GR2 with the Velcro back. This was a shooter edition they released several years ago. I hope they come out again someday. A 13 pound kettlebell to give it some weight. And then a couple hoodies in the bottom. That's what fit in the bottom of this comp compartment. We get the uh, webbing on the back so you could take a regular field pocket that's the same size as the GR1 size and mount it on the inside with the Molly looped webbing in there. So that's the way I kind of run in a lot of my GR1s. Otherwise, you've got a stretch pocket or just other tech or something. It's just a kind of a staple in all the GR1s and GR2s. Uh, just a nice way to maybe put some shoes in there. Some flip-flops is another way I've typically rolled in this, but that's the inside of the GR2. Ah, so there it is. One of my favorite bags of all time, anything in Heritage, but the GR2 34 liter slate, awesome color. And I've got all the colors, mostly except olive and navy. Don't really jive with those, but these ones are super cool. A big thanks again to Huckberry for sending me this GR2 34 liter heritage slate. I really do love it and uh, have been totally enjoying putting a ton of miles on it and really abusing the heck out of it to see how it ages long term. We're gonna show you this thing again after we put some more miles on it. Maybe not driving it behind a truck, but we're definitely gonna abuse this thing a little bit more and give you an update maybe in a couple weeks or months. All right, that's how it fared. That's what this GR2 Heritage looks like after some definite abuse by me out in the weather and the elements in the parking lot in some really rougher conditions than I hope you ever put yours through. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the weather where you are. It's a dreary rainy day here in Georgia. See ya. or any of this really is showing up and hold it.